Hello YouTube, today we're going to be talking about sonic testing. This is a sonic tester and it's also known as an ultrasonic tester and what we're going to be doing is discussing of how to check the thickness of a cylinder. For that we're going to have to go to the back of the shop so let's go. What the sonic testing does it uses a machine that sends a wave all the way in, hits the end of the metal and it comes back. Depending on how long it took to go there and come back we know how thick it is. We have calibrations. We can calibrate this for cast iron, for plastic. You can use a sonic tester to test anything. Stainless, steel, aluminum, copper, brass. There's many ways that you can test it. We're gonna calibrate it. We're gonna set it. There's a calibration point right on it that you can see we can actually calibrate it and test our numbers. There we are, 198. It's supposed to be 197 to 198. We're right on the money. We're using a gel on the cylinder and we're actually gonna sit in here and we're gonna see how thick the cylinder is. This particular cylinder that I've already tested, it's 402,000 thick. That's awesome. Um, we want a minimum of, the, the industry says um, um, a minimum of 90. I would never go there. I want at least 100, 120, and that's at the minimum size. Um, so uh, 204, um, I'm getting a, a nod from my wife, and I'm dyslexic, or I, I like to invert numbers. So if you heard that and you saw that, then you understand why I write things over. Um, and that's another reason I tell everybody, anybody with, with uh, disabilities can do anything. Um, write everything down. So I'm up here, it looked like 402 to me, it's 204. Um, it's okay, I'm gonna leave that in the video to show you that it, that's, that's uh, anybody can do anything. You gotta work harder at it. Okay, so now we talked about sonic testing. An example, I have a, a cylinder because I want to actually calibrate stuff. I have a brand new cylinder that I can mic. So I can sonic test this new cylinder and calibrate my mind, my head, everything to doing everything, everything correct. A sonic tester is made to test something flat. This isn't flat, it's round. So there's a little bit of a discrepancy from the number that I get when I sonic test it but I can also mic it and I can do that math and know exactly what the cylinder is gonna be. Um, so I've already done my math and I already know that I have to subtract 74 thousandths from everything that I get. Subtract 74 thousandths, there's my 204. That's an excellent cylinder. Um, and we wanna sonic test the top four spots, the middle four spots, the bottom four spots. If I start seeing some numbers that I'm not really liking, I'll sit there and sonic test more. It takes quite a long time to sonic test the block all the way through, but I can check everywhere and see how thick the cylinder is. Here's the deal. Sonic testing is a scientific way to check something. We're in an analog world and we have a digital world. This is an analog world. Here's the problem. The inside of the cylinder and the backside is rusted. When a sonic wave hits there, it needs to come straight back so I know how long it took to come back and I know how fat it is. If the wave goes and goes slightly sideways, it's gonna give me a false reading. It's gonna take longer to come back, if it comes back at all. Sometimes it goes and hits a piece of rust and goes over sideways. My meter will tell me that it's not showing a good reading coming back. It took too long to come back. So it's always going back and forth. If there's rust on the backside, the numbers are gonna be all over the place. I wanna write everything down and I wanna verify. I'll move over, I'll move over, I'll move up, I'll move down, and I'll know what that area is looking at. It's really, um, the operator has to really have a common sense going on because if you don't, you sit there and get a number, you might think hey, that's it and it's not really it. So once again, I use a brand new cylinder it's perfectly smooth. There's no rust in the back of it. I can sonic test this and get the same number every time. So I'm always using a cylinder and I'm going back and forth to recalibrate and get my head around what's actually going around. It's, it's not uh, real simple and dry, put it on there. They're all got rust in them. So even sonic testing could um, be as accurate as the guy doing it or it can be false numbers. So a lot of times people will say, oh, I got a cylinder that's this thick and it doesn't really, you, you gotta do it. I also have, which I didn't bring for this video right now, in my toolbox, an old fashioned tool that I made that is actually goes in the cylinder and I can see how thick the cylinder is. In fact, I'm gonna go get it 
We'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and I thought I'd go ahead and pull this out because this is all you need. You can make one of these out of a coat hanger, and all it is is when I squeeze this and it comes up to perfectly zero, it's perfectly zero on that side. So if it's that thick, that's how that my finger is. So it's a real simple tool that you don't need all this sonic testers and everything else. Take this, put it in your pocket, go to a junkyard, go wherever you want. I can stick it in the bore. Look how thick the cylinder is. I don't need special equipment to tell me how thick the cylinder is. I can use a regular micrometer now and I can come here and measure the thickness. Right in here it's 227. Over here I was at 204. So I sometimes feel better a physical feeling of how thick it is. Um, so I'm going to use all these tools using this, using that, where I got 204, I want to stick it in here and I want to make sure that I get 204 there. So this is something real simple you can make yourself. Like I said, I've made them out of a piece of coat hanger before. This is made out of aluminum. Maybe I'll make a bunch of these. I'll put it in the bottom and have a link to them. Who knows? Um, but this is a real simple that if you didn't own any electronics, put this in your pocket, go to a junkyard and have at it okay so all right i hope you enjoyed that if you did if you got anything from it hit the like hit the subscribe button tell your friends tell your buds tell your mom tell your dad tell your dog hello as for me i'm getting back to work good enough yeah. as for me i'm getting back to work all right should be enough phone right yeah. and then okay we're done right good enough to Oh, I should have some more. We need just, not for the still pictures, we can, just, we can do something a little different.